Taurus, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson and welcome to Jen TV. So I was meditating on your word for the day that what you're reading is about and weirdly the word fame came to me. But it's not about fame. As I like, kind of thought the words of the book, uh, Oh, the Places You'll Go, by Dr. Seuss came to my head. There's just a little bit in it. I'll read it. Hang on. This, cat, this book is like, you're going to be all right, okay? You're going to be all right. That's kind of what it means. And you're going to be all right, Taurus. Fame. You'll be as famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't. Because sometimes they won't. But that's all right, okay? Doesn't matter, does it? I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games that you can't win because you'll play against you. That's kind of... When you're not following your intuition, when you're not following what your gut's telling you to do, you're just not going to win, are you? Because you're fighting yourself. You're fighting against the flow, right? All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. Scary. Except when you're not. And this, this book kind of, it takes you through the good and it takes you through the bad and then it takes you back to the good again because you're going to win in the end, right? So whatever you've got and then whatever you don't have later or now, you're going to have again in spades and better than what you had before. So don't worry. That's kind of what came to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bear in mind, my loves, these readings are general readings. I couldn't get my hands around those. These are general readings, so they're not going to resonate with all of you. But if they do, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only book me via my website. You have to come to my website if you want to book me. I won't come to you. If I do, that's somebody trying to scam you. It's not me. All right, Taurus. So if you had it all and now it's gone, don't worry. You're going to get it back better than what you had before. Just stop fighting against the universe, the flow. You've got a lot of indecision right now. How am I going to do this? You're afraid. I've got like throat chakra. You're afraid and, and you, you there's things that you don't want to say, but you know you have to. A change is coming, Taurus, and there's no stopping it. An ending is coming in the very near future. In the next six weeks, there is an ending that you cannot... You can't fight it. It's coming up in the near future. Ten of Pentacles, as in a love reading, is the end of a relationship, as I read it. Um, the overall vibe. This is what I see. We've got the world. It's, this is... The word that just came to me then is like integration. You're integrating now. How, how, the direction you're supposed to be going in. Does that make any sense? You're integrating kind of what you've been fighting to what you've got and moving in that way. <laughs> That's kind of what I want to say. I'm not using my words right. I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm feeling it. I'm trying to get it out here. Sorry. 
You've had a long time to think about this. Now you're just gonna go. It's just difficult. It's it's. What do you? You know, what do you chop off when the ship's sinking to save yourself? Yeah, that's that's sort of the uh, the feeling here. Deep, deep Taurus. Getting all saw on me. Well, I've actually, I've never seen saw. I just know that. <laughs> you have to chop off a piece of your body to win, to live. It's kind of what it feels like for you here. I, I sort of feel like what you want is from is a distance from you and you've not been able to figure out how to get there. You want it, it's far away. So what do you do? Do you... Integrate keeps coming in keeps coming in strong putting uh, even with this two of swords putting two things together Let's see if it's coming up anywhere else oh 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 okay oh okay hold on hold on a minute we'll get to that and we got it for the person of interest. Hmm. Three of cups in reverse. If you can't wait until I get to it, then Google it. Just just be patient with me, I'll get to it. But just Google it. All right. I'm getting there. Anything else the Taurus needs to know right now? I just heard you're too late. You're now, now you're releasing fear. Oh, now you are. Now you're like, okay, I can do this. I can make this work. I'll put that part of my life with that part of my life and I can do this. This is what I wanted all along. I want your arms around me. I want you with me. You make me feel good. You make me feel better. I'm just, just going on a flow here. I'm sorry I didn't give you what I wanted to give you at the time. I'm sorry I... I'm sorry I made that difficult for you. Anything else Taurus needs to know right now? <sighs> Things have been very unhealthy emotionally for you. Um, you've been swimming against the uh, the flow of the life, really, you know. Swimming as fast as you can to, to just not go with it and you're exhausted. Just let yourself flow. Just, just stop fighting it and surrender. Go with it, see where it takes you. Anything else, all right. A couple of these. Hold on. Taurus. Something about your heart chakra here. Healing. What's going on? That, that, that could be, you know, emotionally, spiritually, you know, had your heart broken in the past. I can see where this is going. 
had your heart broken in the past or it could be physically you know you've had problems and and your problems physical problems are actually due to your emotional spiritual problems they're they're completely linked you know think that you know you're gonna harbor anger and resentment towards somebody for so long it's not gonna give you cancer this is something about your heart center though and feelings that you're holding that are negative towards somebody towards something just kind of I'm seeing you swim against the river again and it's just you're fighting something and fighting something and it's it's gonna make you sick it's gonna hurt it's time to heal see with this woman holding a coin somebody's got a hold over you you know cats i'm a cat lady i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm a cat lady i got cats i love them they're my they are my creature and one of the reasons i love them so is the attitude stinks i just love it for some reason I, I love a cat's attitude it stinks they're just like they're spiteful they're rude <laughs> i love it <laughs> but they're also so affectionate and beautiful and, and when they when when a cat comes to you it gives you its love there's no denying it it's real that love is there and it it, it wants to love you otherwise if you if you're like if you're like that with the cat, the cat's gonna be like, you never train a cat, and they they don't respect you, but they'll give you their love. They'll respect you. And I'm kind of seeing with this person a real cat energy, where this person's like, at one point, actually really did give you everything give you their love, give you their affection, their time. And then they went full on cat on you and they, they just like, nah, nah, don't touch me. Oh, here's my belly, don't touch it. Look how wonderful I look today. Oh no, you can't touch it. Sitting alone by the window. <laughs> Sitting alone. Don't touch me. Yeah, that's my cats all over. My cat Barry, who looks pretty much like this little guy here. He's, he, uh, if you, I don't know if you're interested. <laughs> He's weird. My cat Barry's so weird. He, he doesn't like to be stroked or touched. But if I get him at the right moment, I can lay with him on my chest. And he's like, yes. But if I, if it's the wrong moment, he's like, no. Well, he, he's like, eh, eh. He even slinks away like, don't. <laughs> I feel like this person's got some of that energy about them. At one point, they were completely loyal and loved you. And then they just sort of slinked away. Like, I'm getting a real spiteful energy from them. Resentful. Holding the coin. You've had to have a lot of patience in this situation and I feel like it's, it's got to the point where it's made you sick. This is the end of a relationship. What was, there's no more. Coming in the next six six weeks. So, you know. Could happen tomorrow, could happen within the next six weeks. Let's see, tell me more. Yeah. I could finally release this heartbreak and start to heal. Start to heal, even physically heal. This, the Wheel of Fortune is the upright, so it's good. It's all good. I'm sensing something that's not great for you though, so you're gonna make your move. 
towards what you've been avoiding. And this is where it gets difficult for you. I, this is them. They're that mermaid there. This is you looking at those three cups. I want these three cups. I really do want that cup that you've got. And she's like, I'm, I'm not going to give you my cup anymore. I'm here. We can talk. But this cup of love is mine now. And I'm going to give it to someone who's a little bit more deserving than you. you got three already. You don't need mine. But we could be friends. That's kind of what she's saying. And you're like, I don't want these three cups anymore. That, that one that you've got. Yeah, but you didn't take it, Taurus. You didn't take this cup when you could. You're all like, oh, I don't know what to do. Anything else Taurus needs to know coming up in the near future? You fought against what you needed to do to be with this person. You fought against it and you lost it. This is the one that got away now. This is how the best you can hope for in this situation is that I'm kind of seeing with this, they're not going away. There's a special connection between you two. They're not going away. Well, you can't have them anymore, but it's special. Tell me more. You know why you can't have them anymore? Oh, they're... Hang on, I'll get to that. This is your person. Oh my lord. Best you can hope for. You're crazy about this person. They're beautiful. They're they're your your one. Um Queen of Wands. This is the one you've been manifesting in. But now they've got their barriers up. They've got their walls up. And they're you're like, hey, weather's nice. How you doing? Everything's awesome, isn't it? Hey, it's nice to see you. Just let's like it's small talk. I'm, I'm it's it's smaller. It's little talk. It's it's not even small talk. It's it's tiny talk. You need to be bringing your big game here. You need to be bringing your. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I am sorry that I kept you waiting. You are, you are the queen or king, whatever. You're, you're the queen of wands. You're like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. But she's gone full cat as well. Look, look at that cat on her lap. She's the, this one's gone. Well, that's where you're gonna be. We can be friends, but I don't think you can stroke my fur. Hey, don't take it to rude places, you. I was, I was being like, you know. So this is them. They've met somebody else. They met somebody else now. You're not the only one in the running here anymore. Tell me more about this. They're happy now. They're happy and there's an obstacle in your way now to getting that person, getting there. Tell me more. Faint heart never won fair lady. Okay. You want this person? You want him? Take it out, it resonates. I'm saying fair lady, fair, fair gentleman, whatever, you know. You want this person? Don't be faint hearted about it. Don't be like, oh, well. Make it happen. You want something? Take it. Go for it. Win. 
I'm gonna read the outcome here. The outcome sucks, by the way. We've got the King of Swords in reverse. What's that all about? Faint hearts, never one fair person. So this outcome sucks. But I'll tell you now, as a tarot reader, you don't have to take this crap. You don't have to take this crap I'm dealing to you. You can be like, no. What's what's the good version of this, Jen? I'll take you to that in the extended. But hold on. You, you, universe is with me on this. You don't have to take this crap. King of Swords in reverse. You can free yourself of this self-imposed prison that you've put yourself in. You don't have to be unhappy. There is much more to be revealed in this. So much more. Don't take it lying down, mate. What did a faint heart never win? Put it in the comments below. All right, let's pull you. Where are they? There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Let's pull your oracle card for the day. I'm going to take this into extender where I'm going to ask about your person here that you've uh, been putting on hold. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe. And when? When are you going to get this person? When are they coming to you? When are you going to have them in your arms? The answers you need are coming. Yeah, in the extended. Take a look at the description box below. Link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. And your love lyric for the day is... Good Enough. It's a song called Good Enough written by me. I know you have issues of trust. Believe me, you know you must. I want to turn that around and believe in love. But I don't feel good enough. Thanks. All right. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, I will see you in the extended.